Well, I watch Lucha Underground, and I'm prepared to talk Son. long and hard about Lucha Underground because next week starts Ultimo Lucha Dos Dos And uh, yeah, well, uh, maybe I'll watch Ultimo Lucha. We got some big things popping in uh, the Underground de Lucha, but uh, what is the world title match that's scheduled for Ultimo Lucha? The world title match that is scheduled. Out of curiosity, you gonna, you gonna let me finish? Go ahead. You want, you want to run things around here? Is that it? You want to... uh, yeah, actually, that'd be great. <laughs> okay, you have the floor. No, uh, no, world title match, Ultimate Lucha. Just curious. All right. We have the... Uh... Holy shit, I'm blanking on it right now completely. Oh, yeah, your favorite <laughs> show. Can't remember what the main event is of the goddamn their WrestleMania. Because that's actually not like the most interesting thing that's happening right now. Um... Well, I want to know what the goddamn title match is. Yeah, I don't know. I'll come back to you on it. Because uh, the, the most interesting thing that's happening right now to me is Prince Puma is going to face uh, Rey Mysterio Jr. And Prince Puma has been acting quite a little bit heelish lately. Hmm. And to me, that's been, like, one of the most interesting stories that's been developing. Um, and Taya and Eva Lisa are going to have a match as well, which mm-hmm. is something I am super looking forward to. Um, I like that, Taya. Yeah. Uh, Ty, Ty uh, so, w- any any idea why WWE passed on her or what happened there? Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, it's Pentagon Jr. Oh, yeah, and Jason Voorhees. And uh, Montana Cuerdo. Yeah. So, wait I, a minute. Why don't get... I'm not... Gift s- of the go- oh, I see. Yeah, th- th- they're, ha- they're having an- another Gift of the Gods uh, match, which... So, um, can you cash that in at any time? So Is that like a, the way a that, money in the bank The way thing? that Dario put it together is that... Apparently, you can you can cash it in, but you have to do it a week in advance. Uh-huh. And the way he actually like knocked money in the bank when he did that, and he said, "But you got to do it at least a week in advance because I'm not an idiot. I got to promote the match. That's how we make money." <laughs> it was oh. just, it was just kind of like yeah, that kind of makes sense from a promoter standpoint. Right. But hmm. uh, but hmm. but yeah, like okay. While I'm excited to see the match, like we, a the, the the main event match, we saw it already. Like I'm sure it'll be different this time around, but we kind of saw it already, and it was really a mismatch. Like it made Jason Voorhees look like super strong against Pentagon, and the the story that they did, I think like they kind of did like a Bane Batman thing. Like he broke bat he broke Batman's back. That whole thing, he you know he broke Pentagon Junior's back, and I think Vampiro like. Like beat like the crap out of him, like tied him up and like broke all of his bones or something to like get him ready for his comeback. Mm-hmm. He was like, "You have to be able to overcome, you know, unimaginable excruciating pain." But it's pretty cool. The re- the undercard is really what I've been kind of paying attention to this time around. Um, so I'm just gonna say now, in in regards to my comment a long time ago about, oh, so this person's gonna be the champion. That's what we're doing. Is that- I don't really. Yeah, I meant to ask you without spoiling anything is that happening because it looks like unless there's like a big surprise coming along it just seems like not part of the equation don't be surprised if so- someone who wins the gift of the god's that's, championship okay actually does become the champion wow all right that's what i figured all, all right. right so yeah. so don't i mean again i read this a while ago this could this could be completely false all right but well, so, so in, in the Gift of the Gods match, they, they've got all of the competitors except for one who's being saved as a mystery, who's going to be at Ultima Lucha Dos. So, like, unless it's going to be, I mean, I guess it could be that one that pops up into the match. Well, this Get- says, this says Sexy Star, Daga, Sinestro de la Muerte, Marty the Moth, Martinez, Mariposa, Killshot, and Nightclaw. Okay. Okay, yeah, so, the, yeah so maybe it's Nightclaw then. No, wait, no, it's not Nightclaw because they already announced it. Oh, uh, it's definitely one of these people. Okay. It's definitely one of these people that they, I read you might, you might actually be looking at something that I haven't seen yet because off the top of my head, that, from, well, from what I remember, they, they've been adver- – you know, sometimes they do things in Lucha Underground where, like, we, we, the audience, see things that are part of the story that are not, quote-unquote, televised on the show. Right. So maybe it's one of something that that like, I just overlooked because they they're, they're advertising it officially that there's a mystery member that's going to join that match, but mm-hmm. but anyway the uh, the other matches they have um, King Cuerno and Mil Muertes are going to have a death match and I'm not even sure what that means in this context because because as far as aren't death matches cage matches where the cage explodes? Uh, not necessarily. 
But like, what would it be then? Just, uh, just I don't know. Like, like just I know the Hugh match, but just with a lot of crazy shit. I, I, I can't, it can't be though because they've already had, you know, crazy matches like that um, with various different names. But in what, what happened was Katrina came into Dario's office and just said because uh, Cuerno actually beat Muertes. The, uh, with a quick roll up, it was kind of like a cheap victory, and she came into his office all piss and vinegar and said, "I want a rematch." And he laughed and was like, "You tried to take over my temple, fuck you." And she said, "A death match," and all and like they they made like an echo on it when she said it. Oh and my god! Like his face got all serious and he just was like, "I hate your guts, but you know how to say just the right thing for me to give you what you want." And he was like, "You got it, death match." But hmm. I don't I don't know what death match means in, in this context, so I'm really excited. Uh, real quick, uh, before we move on with the more important things, uh, Taya Valkyrie. In October 2011, she was signed to a developmental contract with World Wrestling Entertainment after a tryout with them. After not making any officially recorded debut in WWE or its other programs, Forrester, her real name, returned to wrestling on the independent circuit. She continued wrestling in Canada for so 2011 until March 2012. And then went to Triple AAA, Triple A and then Lucha this year. I know she's so good, and she she takes bumps with the best of them. Like I swear, I, she's yeah. cr- crazy. That woman, she's pretty. Oh yeah, I for, I forgot there was also there was this weird thing. Uh, Dario called a bunch of guys to the to the ring, like uh, Tejano, Son of Havoc, uh, Cage, and the Mac, and basically told them that all four of them are going to have some kind of encounter at Ultima Lucha, and. The winner will get something very special, and we don't know what. Uh, let's see. It just says, Cage, Tejano, Sanhamic, Mac, for a unique opportunity. Right. That's all it says. That's all we know is it's a unique opportunity. I'm reading uh, someone uh, somewhere wrote a, a, predict, uh, predict, ah, a preview of Lucha Underground. I'm sorry. Right. Now, who did you say was in the, the, the Gift of the Gods match again? Sexy Star. Right. Daga. Sinestro de la Muerte, right. Marty the Moth Martinez, right. Mariposa, Killshot, and Nightclaw. Okay, so it is. So Nightclaw is going to be the one that they ultimately announced that hasn't officially been announced. The, but, this is what this preview tells Right, me. yeah. N- now I remember, because I, I vaguely remember Dario telling him he was in the match, but w- they're advertising the match as there's a, a to-be-announced competitor. Okay, that makes sense. Mm. Mm. All right. Well... Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited about all that. Marty the Moth is great, by the way. He <laughs> he's, is such a, he's pretty funny. He is such a creepy mother. You know, you know who's not excited at all for any of this. Um, the guy who, who doesn't walk. like masked wrestlers. Yeah, he definitely doesn't. The senior analyst uh, of Annihilation, Shawn Michael Spurge. Yeah, that's the guy. Oh, you guys still talking about Lucha Underground? Yeah, for like five hours. <sighs> yeah. You know, we, we spend I such. I like, fell asleep on the show. I was so excited. To be on the show this week, I'm like, all right. I was, I wasn't on last week. I'm, I'm amped up. I'm ready to go. And we just spent like 15 f-ing minutes on Lucha. You know, we spend so, so little time on Lucha Underground ever. Like the one time we get to talking about it a little bit, there's actually some subject matter to talk about. Oh, Sean, oh my god, Sean, 